Despite being involved in various space exploration efforts at various levels, Europe only has a bunch of homemade rockets it can rely on to advance its goals beyond the borders of our planet. The continent does not have spaceships and spaceplanes of its own, meaning it must rely on others to take things and even people into space. That may change though, and pretty soon. During the recently concluded Paris Air Show, one of Europe's largest aerospace players, Dassault Aviation, announced plans to create not a single spaceplane, but an entire family of them that should help not only France become a space superpower, but its neighbors too. Dassault's idea is called Vortex, which is short for Vehicle Orbital Reutilizable to Transport ETD Exploration. During the Paris Air Show, the company signed an agreement with the French Armed Forces to develop a demonstrator that could eventually lead to production spaceplanes. The project is literally brand new, so we really have no info about the final capabilities of the spaceplane. We do know however, how the aircraft maker plans to get there, and it involves making increasingly more complex prototypes during a four-phase program. During Phase 1, Dassault plans to build a one-third scale spacecraft which will be used to test the configuration of the Vortex, especially during the re-entry process, but also flight controls. If everything works as intended, Phase 2 will move to a two-third scale prototype called Smart Free Flyer. Two full-scale prototypes will be built during Phases 2 and 3, one meant to transport cargo, and the other crew-rated. It's unclear what capabilities these versions will have, but we're told Vortex's cargo bay should be large enough to satisfy a long list of needs. Dassault's ultimate goal is to come up with a piece of technology that can be used to perform all space missions imaginable, transport of cargo and humans to and from orbit, in-orbit servicing, object retrieval, and military missions. The renderings depicting the Vortex show a spacecraft shaped not unlike the space shuttle, with a cargo bay equipped with a robotic arm. The ship would be capable of docking with orbital assets and the spaceplane would operate like all others imagined by our species. It would launch on top of a rocket, perform its mission in space, and then come back home. Upon return, it would land just like a conventional aircraft. Naturally, the Vortex is reusable by design, meaning it would be ready to go again soon after landing. The French aerospace company did not say how long it would take to make the demonstrator, so we have no idea when the Vortex spaceplane would be ready for duty. We will keep an eye on it though, and report back once we learn more.